Hello and welcome on the journey. Leo friends, I'm picking up that some of you have been taking life a little too seriously lately. You may have been going through a recent challenge and there may be a situation that needs fixing or healing. Something needs to change and perhaps it's old thought patterns. Maybe there's somebody here that is an angry person, maybe an angry woman and a mother that may be operating in their shadow, shadow side around you. They're trying to lower your energy. So be careful to not allow yourself to get angry, to get bitter, to want to be revengeful. We all have flaws and it's important to hold ourselves accountable. So how we react, what are your value systems? What is your moral compass saying? What is something that you might be resisting? What is something that might, needs to cha might need to change? This would be a good time to reach out to others for support because karmic relationships could be at play through this Mercury retrograde period. There's a new opportunity or fresh start for someone here and you are in the perfect place right now to begin something. It's time to accept that everything happens for a reason, even the heartbreak, the pain. Don't let unhealed wounds block your forward mo movement because right now this is part of your spiritual transformation. Let's look into the cards, shall we? What is the message for our Leo Collective? Well, we have the Two of Cups to look at everything through the eyes of love. Even those who have betrayed us, even those who have hurt us, even those who have sucked us dry. Because it's all about forgiveness. It's all about compassion. It's all about deciding to do what makes you feel like it's the right thing to do, which is friendship, unified love, mutual respect, joy, love, self-love. And so that is very much there's this expression of love that I feel that you are just giving to other people freely, Leo. It could be with somebody too. It could be love in the air, love blooming. Where there once was, and I can see these sticks and twigs in the background, the trees have no life on them, but there's starting to be some growth here. The heart, once the heart, once the heart heals, you're and you're able to express this love, even if you don't feel it right now, it's really the most important part is to find your self-love. That is the message coming through. And acceptance. And that's what I channeled too, is that it's really important to accept that everything happens for a reason that we are part of a divine woven fabric with the universe and everything is as it's meant to be, the cycles of life. Your manifestations, your foundations, your stability, who you are, your family, your roots, they're there in your life for a reason. So something could have hit you in your family. That might be the challenge is to accept that something might be over in love and, or there's this transformation happening in your life and your foundations and it really rocked your foundations, I can see. But there are a lot of doves. So love, peace, harmony is really important right now. And it's to do with two because there's two hands here. There's a a couple of skeletons here. It's very important. What do you need to focus on? Be honest with yourself, Leo. All your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept your truth. Then let Source take it from there. 
And fifth house is about your creativity. It's about ch children. It's about romance. It's about having fun. It's about the self, self-love. But it's also about ego too and letting go of that ego that we all have, that shell that we put around ourselves, our, our false self, our masked self. I don't know if you've ever experienced in your life where you have been having a conversation with somebody and you feel your face tight. Well, that is your masked self. That is you and that's your ego having a defense mechanism built in place with that person in front of you. Because when true exchange happens with somebody, it's completely natural and you can take the mask off and you can be yourself. And sometimes just being at work, that's it's challenging because we have to work with, if you work with a bunch of people, it's the dynamics are not always easy because they're, people have different personalities and not everybody's planet meshes within the solar system. There are just sometimes things that it's, it's unique. So this is part of what you're learning. What is Leo leaving behind? Well, you're leaving behind the past to take a divinely guided chance. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk, and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. And there could have been children, there could be children involved in this because that fifth house came up too. What are the strengths of Leos out there? Spread your wings. You have this ability to be very creative. You think outside the box, Leos. And so you're being guided to not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to start, ready to soar. So I'm thinking of, I'm feeling that there's some entertainers in the house, perhaps. Maybe you're interested in, in sharing an aspect of yourself, like art. And no matter what people think and what they say, you are meant to have this divine connection to source and to fly, to spread your message, to spread your art to the world. Coming up in the near future, a new start is coming. Wow, new moon. And so I just think about how we just had that. This also reminds me of the solar eclipse. So something could have happened around the solar eclipse where there's a new start for you here or coming up for the next new moon. What is the advice for Leo? Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Yes. So maybe when you're talking to somebody and you're feeling that tightness of your face and maybe you don't normally feel that way around certain people, but there are certain people that bring that out in you because they are not being their authentic selves around you. I challenge you to pay attention to what your face does around people when you're talking to them. Are you dealing with an authentic situation? Does that person raise your vibration? Do you feel natural or is there something awkward in the mix, in the dynamics that you can feel in your face? That was something that really weirded me out in my, eh, probably in my teens that I started to feel, to feel that mask, to feel that where I just, my, even my parents had told me that my laugh changed and I was, depending on the people I was hanging around with, I was laughing and talking differently. And I think that that's just as you're trying to learn how to find out who you are as a person, we, we try to we become 
those around us without even realizing it. But when you become more, step more into your authentic self, you start to realize that you, you don't need to put on a mask. You're just who you are. And if people don't like it, oh well, walk away. Doesn't matter. Ain't got time for that no more, right? So your environment is that you are being recommended tiger's eye. And every day I go to work, I wear my tiger's eye ring. It's funny that, that this came up today because it's part of your self-confidence through God confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. But also tiger's eye is personal power and it's energy. If you believe in that, it's also about repelling negative energy. So it helps to protect your energy center from people that may be feeding off of your energy here because you give so much love to other people. Let's look at the hopes and fears of the Leo Collective. What are the hopes and fears? Change. Well, that's something that can be feared. Change is not easy. It, it hurts to change. It's like a birth of ourselves, shedding our old layers of ourselves. It's movement, it's growth, it's expansion. And it hurts sometimes too. So I feel that can be both a hope and a fear combined because it is so good to grow. It is. Let's look at the potential outcome. Falling over being honest with yourself. We have magic manifesting. Ooh. So you're manifesting something new in your life. It's very powerful. Your dreams, your visions and goals are becoming a reality. So stay focused. Stay focused on that. That is the most important thing. It's not the drama going on around you. It's not about the changes. It's not about this and that. It's about keeping focused on what those, what that vision is you have for your life. And it will fall into place and manifest if you feel good. So watch your thoughts. If you're not feeling good, you're, you find yourself just feeling down, well, look at what are you thinking? That's the hardest part is the thinking. We are not often aware of what we're even thinking unconsciously and it goes round and round and round. And that's maybe that's what needs to change here are those thought patterns that are going round and round and round in your head right now. Some of you I was picking up earlier too. Looking at some guidance, we have Archangel Uriel. Works on the ruby ray, which is made up of purple and gold. It is the ray of wisdom and spirituality. You are blessed to attract this angel card, for he will bring you serenity, love, tranquility, and peace. You, in turn, are invited to spread these beautiful qualities to others. And I feel like that. Spread your wings. Spread your joy in the world. Share that with other people. Connecting with Archangel Uriel will enable you to aspire to oneness with all humanity. This is a high state of grace, which will bring you freedom and joy. Visualize yourself in a purple and golden cloak and invoke Archangel Uriel's help to raise your consciousness. Affirmation. I am one with everyone in peace and serenity. Acceptance. Even accepting that we have flaws. That's tough. Oh my goodness, that we're not perfect. What? We have a shadow self and a light self? How could that be? Oh my goodness, there's so much to learn. What is a message for your mindset for Leo? My financial success does not require hard work. Mm, hard work pays off. That's what we're always taught, right? If you believe that you must work hard in order to deserve the money that comes to you, then money cannot come to you unless you do work hard. Financial success or any other kind of success does not require hard work. It does require alignment of thought. You simply cannot offer negative thought about things that you desire and then make up for it with action or hard work. 
When you learn to direct your own thoughts, you will discover the true leverage of energy alignment. And that is huge because I will share with you that one of my biggest things that I realized about myself was that I focused on with my words and with my thoughts what I didn't want. And I just kept getting more of what I didn't want. So as soon as I said, and I started to rephrase things, I want this, I want this for myself, even if it's not always 100% positive, you can reframe how you say things. All right, that's for somebody. Dog, close up, pleasure with a close friend. And so there's the two of cups. So you might be developing a friendship Dogs getting together with friends. So there's, dogs are very loyal. These are people that are close and in your circle. What else? Get some more tea. Wealth, mm -hmm. lots of manifestation energy. And dark woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. And now we did have a woman that was angry in this picture, an angry woman or a mother. Parrot, someone will gossip about all your secrets. Ooh. Squawk, squawk, squawk. Let them talk, it doesn't matter. Wind chimes, peace and harmony, because you're just gonna focus on just creating your own peace, no matter how the wind blows and what gossip comes and goes. Handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. And let's get one more. Rat, someone working against you behind your back. All right, so, oh well, that's, there's always going to be happiness haters. There's always going to be people that don't like us for who we are and they're projecting their own selves onto you, Leo. Just remember that it's not you, it is, projections and so what I challenge you what are you how are you what are you bringing to the world how are you changing the world being a better person for others let's get you a quote as humans we are we are all capable of making a poor decision but we're fully capable of moving beyond those decisions and doing something meaningful with our lives ask yourself how has a mistake that you made helped you become a kinder, more compassionate human being? And you know what I have told my students over and over again is that we all make mistakes. In fact, that is how we learn. We, we fall down, we get back up again. We fall down, we get back up again. And we just keep trying, we keep learning, we keep becoming a little bit more aware on the journey of existence. And so keep at it. As long as we're alive, there's a chance to like be a little bit more aware every day. Believe in yourself, you are a good person. Take time to feel the love that surrounds you. You have great consideration for others and forgive. Let the past be the past, Leo. Let the past be the past. It's time for this change. It's time to spread your wings and accept that a new start is coming for you. How exciting. All right, take care of yourself, Leo. Love to you, bye.